patient himself sometimes not only breakthrough innovations can make a difference, but tiny continuous improvements in a medicine. That could mean, for example, to improve patient adherence to taking a drug, that changes in packaging, calendar um, on the packaging, or other adjustments can help improve that the patient takes his medicines more frequently, more regularly, and with that improve patient treatment outcome. Another system could be, let's say, with the payers. If you have better access to treatment data, to problems the patient reports, for example, in an app or in a database, healthcare systems, reimbursement systems can cluster patients better to treatment schemes with that A, improve treatment outcome, and B, reduce treatment cost. Very few markets which recognize at the moment value-added medicines in a reimbursement pathway for the efforts which are required to develop such a product and to bring it to a market. But I think this is the joint effort which we together, between policymakers, academia, industry, patient organizations, healthcare professionals and others have to do to open up the valuation and reimbursement pathways to recognize them, to differentiate a value-added medicine using a certain molecule, an INN, which is available at the same time in the market as a generic, to differentiate that in terms of its regulatory and reimbursement pathways to make sure that the patient can ultimately get access to that and that industry is motivated to invest in the development of such a product. Mm -hmm.